Hello, Danny Blythe from CICM, looking at Jin Ye, or body fluids in traditional Chinese medicine. This is for traditional Chinese medicine students only. Please pause and read this. So the Jin fluids are the clear, light, watery fluids. They moisten and nourish the mucous membranes, the skin and the muscles, and they manifest as tears, saliva, mucus, urine. The Ye, or the heavy dense slow fluids um, moisten the joints, the spine, the brain, the marrow. So food enters the stomach which is said to be the origin of fluids and they're transferred to the spleen which is in charge of transforming and transporting. The spleen sends the clear up to the lungs and the turbid down to the small intestine under the influence of the descending stomach chi. The lungs disperse the fluids um, through the skin, the mucous membranes, moistening and nourishing. Some is lost as sweat and they descend the turbid fluids down to the kidney. The lungs in the upper burner are called the upper source of water and the kidney in the lower burner are considered the lower source of water. From the small intestine, turbid ascent to the large intestine, clear to the bladder for reabsorption. So this separation of turbid and clear is really important in the small intestine. The Ling Shu says that the small intestine has a particular affinity for the Ye yeah fluids. The large in intestine absorbs the remaining pure, excretes the dirty waste, transforms the stools and absorbs the remaining fluids. Now back to the kidney, which has received the turbid fluids from the lung. It steams the fluids from the lower burner back up to the lung, the clear fluids, whilst the dirty fluids are sent down to the bladder. It's also said to dominate fluids because it provides the Yuan Qi, which gives the Qi transformation at each of these stages. The bladder is the lowest organ where fluids are stored. Um, the turbid are eliminated as urine, whilst the clear are sent back up to the lungs. So each of these stages is acted upon by the kidneys and the Yuan Qi as the fluids move from the middle burner up to the upper burner and down to the lower burner and fluids are lost through the sweat, through the stools and through the urine. So you can liken the lung to a cloud, like a mist. The kidneys as the lower source of water as the sea and the Yuan Qi like the sun acting upon the sea, steaming the fluids up to the lung and the lungs then irrigate like rain. So the triple burner represents this threefold division it enables the Yuan Qi's passage, but also division to go and do its different tasks. And it controls the water passages and the excretion of fluids. So the upper burner is like a mist with the dispersal of body fluids and it's dominated by the lungs and the Zong Qi. The middle burner is like a muddy pool with its rotting ripening dominated by the spleen, the stomach and the Ying Qi. And the lower burner is like a drainage ditch where the intestines, kidney and bladder um, separate the, the dirty fluids and excrete and it's dominated by Yuan Qi. Pathological fluids can be in excess or thick so we can get dampness or thicker still we can get phlegm or thin and watery we can get fluid or ruin or the fluids can be deficient and we get dryness. So here's a summary of the different Zhang Fu and their action on the fluids. The Su Wen also talks about the five humours relating to each organ. The sweat, snivel, tears, drool and spittle. 